Hi there, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store and I'm here today to talk about two ukuleles that are special for completely different reasons and at completely different ends of the Hawaiian made price scale. Uh, the first ukulele is probably the one I choose for the thumbnail of this video because it's just so striking it makes you stop in your tracks and pay attention. We're going to look at the 2021 Platinum and then stick around or fast forward if you're into something pineapple shaped, a bit more voluptuous because later on in the video we're going to look at the Sus P. Um, yeah, without further ado, here is how the Platinum 2021 sounds. <laughs> Okay, so let's start with the main event today. This is the Kanalea 2021 Platinum Tenor Ukulele. And there's just so much to talk about with this ukulele. Uh, but before we do, let's just look at it for a moment because even with the light glaring on it, it's just stunning. One of, if not the nicest piece of color that any of us will ever see. I know that's all subjective, but this is a supermodel of curly Hawaiian koa. It's a stunner. Um, right, let's start with the Platinum series itself. The Platinum series started in 2016, and every year they release a single model that strives to innovate and inspire the future of ukulele manufacturing. And every year they introduce something new that you don't see on models again. And every year they introduce something new that you see on models going forward. I'll give you some really good recent examples. The 2020 Platinum series was a super tenor that had a D-shaped sound hole. And in 2021, Canalea launched the D-series ukuleles that were pared down inspired models from that Platinum. The year before, Canalea released their first ever pla um, pineapple platinum model uh, which was a pineapple tenor and now two years later we have the p1 and even the sus p that i'm going to show you after this ukulele um, but why and what's the idea behind it well joe the head luthier at canalea the man who started the company started the platinum range as a kind of what would happen if we let joe loose in the workshop and nobody disturbed him for a week and from there comes innovation and this year the innovative features include these three ma uh, matching waving sound holes which are not purely cosmetic these are there to increase the tonality of the ukulele itself by creating more of the soundboard and cutting less of it out of the middle what you get is a kind of streamlined and I want to say like a filtered sound. It's like fil it's just filtered tone and it's gorgeous. It's completely full bodied, but without any of the unnecessary hole in the instrument itself. And then you have the matching waving sound holes on the side there. Now, before I talk about the other features, let's just talk about this waving uh, inlay itself. So you have an inlay on the bridge there and then they continue this wave throughout the fingerboard all the way up to the headstock which has this stunning piece of curly koa inlaid into it and this waving inlay there just going to bring that closer shine it towards the light slightly now the other innovative feature is the body taper which you may have noticed when i was going around the instrument this ukulele has a deliberate taper down from the bridge to the uh, base edge of the lower bout, which is there so that when you hold the ukulele, you don't 
necessarily even feel it's there. Now you're probably thinking, oh, this is all Emperor's new clothes because you've got a cutaway and you know you've you've seen beveled edges before. Well, this is taking that idea and running further with it and seeing where it can go. And with a body taper, what you end up with is something that is timeless but also innovative. Um, I'm sure even those of you that have never played a guitar before will have heard of the Fender Stratocaster. You've looked at PRS guitars and you've looked at how these body cuts create a more comfortable experience and also help players get to places that they can't play otherwise. It's not necessarily about reaching the fretboard, but if you're comfortable, you can play for longer, you can play more dynamically. Now, you know, a better player than me can show you an example of that, but this body taper was designed and inspired by the last 70 years of electric guitar manufacturing and uh, hybrid acoustic instruments. And you can really see that this body taper is an example of Joe and Kahiao Souza uh, working together on this model. I know that Kahiao, who works uh, in the custom shop and is the youngest son in the Souza family, is uh, is very into his, his high-end um, ostentatious electric guitars like the PRS style guitar. And this body cut is uh, the kind of thing that you can all, you can be pretty sure that he suggested. And I'm sure as years go on, we'll start to see other models introduce a body taper like this. But if you want to know where it came from first and where the idea originated in, from Hawaiian manufacturers, then you can see that it was Canalea and it was the 2021 Platinum. And there is something about it. I mean, I'm a left-handed player, so it doesn't work so much for me. But when I hold it and when I do the sound sample uh, for you guys that I've already recorded, I found myself just not really thinking about holding a ukulele. And the beveled edge does a good job of that, but you're still consciously holding an instrument. With this, I found that my hand reached the sweet spot more naturally than it does when I play for myself. And uh, yeah, that's why that body taper is there. Uh, other, f other features include uh, ebony fingerboard and bridge, 38mm nuts with the Cobra slotted headstock. And this is the first model, I believe, to have the uh, st stealth tuners with, I'm waiting for it to focus, I'll go out of the shop. Stealth tuners with the gold buttons. And have another look at that headstock, which is bound in curly maple. And then all the way down the fingerboard, you have that curly maple binding. And all the way around the top and the back, you have that curly maple binding, which paired up with the curly koa is just out of this world. And finally, you have uh, this absolutely stunning maple um, cutaway, like a, like a scoop cutaway which honestly, just looking at it now, I want a chopping board like that. I want a chopping board in that material. Let's make that happen for me, guys. If anyone wants to send me a curly maple chopping board, I'd be very happy. But yeah, and just once again, before we move on, let's just look at that instrument one more time because it's an, it's an absolute stunner. And the final unique feature of this year's Platinum is a battery hatch on the back. You're probably thinking, oh no, what have they done? What have they done? Um, well, if you look at the sound holes on this instrument, it's uh, it's impossible to fit a pickup. And many of the people who are looking at this kind of instrument are performers, people that want to be able to plug in and you know take it and and grow with it. So, what they've done is they've introduced a back hatch, which is completely book matched to the to the back of the ukulele. Um, it's very hard to spot from many angles. I've actually had to come back and refilm this part of the video because I forgot to mention it. Uh, but this hatch is easily removed. It's magnetized to the back of the ukulele. And if you look at this uh, shot from when Gunsy took it apart uh, on incoming quality check, you can see that they've even attached a brace to the back. So this back plate is in no way a hindrance to the overall sound of the ukulele. In fact, I'm gonna put myself out on the line here and say that I think it's extremely cool. Okay, well you heard one sound sample. I'm gonna give you another one now, guys, and, uh, and see what you think. Okay, and we're back with the second ukulele we're going to look at today, which is the Kanalea 
SUSP, the Southern Ukulele Store Pineapple. Uh, the Southern Ukulele Store range from Canalea is uh, is very well known by now. It's been around for three years, I think, this year. And it teams up uh, Alaskan Rainbow Cedar with Mahogany back and sides. The concert tenor and baritone incarnations of this ukulele have been extremely popular because they are similarly priced to a Canalea K1, but offer you a, a different option on tonewoods. So not everybody is out there looking for Hawaiian koa ukuleles and quite often if it's your second instrument perhaps you want to go for something with a bit more of a flamenco kind of spicy sound to it. The SUSP is very much the natural evolution of this model. Canalea launched the pineapple ukulele uh, with the platinum back in 2019 and the P1 was extremely popular for us uh, last year. And so we asked Canalea to make us uh, a limited number of sus pineapples, and here they are. The features, apart from that Alaskan rainbow cedar, which is extremely tightly grained, it's very hard to even pick up on camera, but you have this kind of three-tone rainbow effect, hence the name Alaskan rainbow cedar, with a very lightly stained mahogany back and sides to give the whole thing a very harmonious look. You have an ebony fingerboard and bridge with sand inlays on the fingerboard. Hopefully those, they'll focus. Sand inlays on the fingerboard. And then finally, Canalea have not only included the pineapple headstock, which is an elongated headstock, but they've included the pineapple logo in sand as well. You have gold open back tuners, um, branded Canalea with a 38mm nut and the pin bridge as with all Canaleas. The body is high gloss, so it's a high gloss pineapple tenor body with a satin neck to give it a kind of lived in feel. And uh, what I should talk about for those of you that are just discovering Canalea today for the first time is the neck profile, which is slightly on the chunky side with an almost flat U point on the back that you can kind of naturally find your thumb as you move up the fingerboard. Uh, I'm just delighted to be able to show it off to you. Canalea were even nice enough to include the pineapple bag and really create uh, a pineapple model that will sit nicely in the range alongside a P1. And uh, we love them for it. So I'm going to give the Sus P a play and see what you guys think. Let's do another sample as it's the only uke we're featuring this way today. There have it folks, we've looked at two brand new models by Canalea here at the Southern Ukulele store this morning. Uh, but what features on the Platinum model did you like? And what do you think of the Pineapple Tenor? Let us know in the comments section. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact me in store on 01202 430820. Or you can email me at alex at .uk. Um, I will be back very, very soon. I've got some really special, very different instruments to show off next week. And I'm so glad that I could get the Platinum demoed in time for all of you that have been asking. Uh, have a great day and I'll see you very, very soon.